Hey, this is Digital Bike Computing. Today we're going to look at the simple steps on how to clone a VM in vSphere 6.7 or 6.5. So my name is Emilio, I work in the IT industry and we are here today connected into our, our uh, vSphere environment, into vCenter uh, through a web browser. We are running 6.7, uh, the steps are essentially the same in 6.5 and in early versions of VMware. But we're really going to look at how to clone a VM. The steps are very, very easy. Uh, so you may want to copy a VM and make it look exactly the same and have a second VM running in your environment, um, exactly the same configuration, etc. So let's say, for example, I've got a server here called PFSense. The really the simple steps are to right click on this VM. You can also go into the action tab and select clone. Now I can select a few different options here, clone to virtual machine, clone to template, clone to template in library. Now clone to template and clone to template in, in library suggests that you've already got a template created somewhere. In this case, we're not going to deploy it from it. We're not going to clone it from a template because we don't have a template for this particular VM. So we're just going to clone the virtual machine altogether. So I can select that option here. I give it a meaningful name. Let's just call it pfsense underscore two. We're going to leave it into this particular folder. We now need to select what host we want it to run on. So let's just select this host here, make sure that the compatibility is all okay. What the storage is going to be. So do I want to make it exactly the same in terms of uh, the format? So this could be thick or thin provisioned. So let's say this uh, initial PFSense VM is thick provisioned. I now want to convert it to thin and I want to throw it into this particular data store. I can go ahead and customize some further options. If I don't want the specs to be exactly the same, I can go into these options and customize it further. But for the purpose of this, we're gonna leave those off and we're not gonna power on the VM just yet. So next, give you a little bit of a summary of what's gonna happen and select finish. So you see that now a process will kick off against PFSense. It's gonna create an exact copy of the PFSense VM into PFSense 02. So my general recommendation is to do a clone of a VM of a VM that is powered off, um, more because of the resource requirements uh, re you know, needed to do this. Um, you can do it also on a VM that's powered on. So this Security 01 VM, I can go and clone it, but just be mindful that there can be performance hits against that VM if you are running it on a running server okay just be aware of that so my general recommendation is to do it when it's powered off but there's no reason you can't do it while the vm is powered on either now as you see the vm is cloning is simple now once this vm is powered on uh, well once it's finished excuse me you will then power it on but just be mindful that it's going to be an exact copy of the other vm so if you do have a ip address assigned on the old one if you power on the second one, the IP address will be exactly the same. So you may have a, a, a duplicate IP on your network causing conflict. So just be aware of that. You may want to power it on with the network card turned off, for example, so that it doesn't conflict on your network if you have two IPs exactly the same. So it's going to be really an exact copy. And that is a simple step on how to clone a VM in vSphere. I hope you found this video helpful. I would love it if you commented below. It also helps me to grow my channel if you do comment and you like this video and uh, we will talk to you next time. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital by Computing, just on the button there for more videos.